What is up guys? It is your boy Snow here bringing you a new series to my channel. From now on, every game I play, I will be doing an in-depth review of the game, starting today with The Division. I will be doing these reviews in a three-part system, the bad, the good, and my overall opinion of the game. Starting off with Tom Clancy's The Division and the bad parts of the game. The Division on console isn't the greatest thing, running at 30 FPS, dropping frames at times, and getting console lag. Although Ubisoft is working on fixes for this, it seems far-fetched for as long as the game has been out and how in-depth the game is. Along with the console lag, there seems to be some UI issues or user interface issues at times. When you pull up the user interface, it seems to lag and be misleading, meaning attribute numbers to your character can be wrong. Although Ubisoft has claimed to fix these issues, it still seems to happen from time to time. Along with the UI issues, it also seems to have server issues, with lag happening every once in a while causing you to run in place or skip forward. Until recently, there was tons of exploits used in PvP to get an advantage over the other players, being able to one-shot in PvP and have crazy amounts of health. Since the 1.2 update though, I haven't seen much of the exploits, although Ubisoft claims to be fixing some of these issues, there are still some that they have yet to respond to. The good of Tom Clancy's The Division. There are some pretty bad parts that I have brought up, but it's not as bad as you think. There is so much content to grind, whether it be doing missions versus AI outside the Dark Zone, going in the Dark Zone and doing PvP, or farming for new gear fighting bosses, boss AI in the Dark Zone. I'm not even max gear score, and me personally have 8 days played. Whenever you think the game is done, in getting old, Ubisoft hits us with another update, raising the level cap and introducing new gear, equipment, and missions. The graphics are incredible, bringing a post-apocalyptic realism to the game along with the storyline. One misconception of the game is whenever you hit level 30, that is it. Well, that is not the case. When you hit level 30, you unlock entire new ranking system, basically opening up an entire new game. Overall, overall, I think the game has a lot of potential, especially with the two free updates that are out now and the paid updates that are yet to be released. I enjoy playing the game for the most part, although it can be get boring at times fighting the same AI all the time but it's getting new gear and having a chance to have the best character in the game that keeps you playing if you haven't yet i really recommend playing this game you will not regret it it's well worth the sixty dollars unlike some games that are coming out right now like overwatch but we will leave that for another review I hope you guys enjoyed my review on Tom Clancy's The Division. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.